So I just wanted to mention something uh, sort of quickly here about the classes of amplifiers. The classes of amplifiers that are still floating around in the audio field, uh, they can vary quite a bit. There's been some confusion in the posts that have uh, shown up on our channel over the many years, so I just thought I'd just do something real quick covering the classes of amplifiers. To start with uh, Class A amps, uh, we do not use those. In fact, uh, usually audiophile people will use those in their home stereos. Uh, Class A amps are extremely heavy. They are very inefficient. They probably have about a 30 to 35 percent uh, efficiency in their use. Uh, you should never see those or ever use those in pro audio. Now, the other class of amplifiers is class AB, and these have mostly been used in pro audio for decades. Uh, they've got a really decent power. Uh, they're not too expensive. Uh, now, when I'm talking about decent power, it was at that time, maybe 20, 30 years ago, they had decent power and they really weren't too expensive. And the class AB amps were called, uh, if you ever heard the term big iron, uh, that's what they're referencing. And some of these larger power amps, uh, what was that? Crown Macrotech 5000. Uh, the Crown Macrotech had a 120 volt 30 amp plug on it. Uh, this, was, um, this was quite beefy back then, but it uh, needed a lot of power. You may still find 30 amp service on big amplifiers but um, I think those are really sort of dwindling away and uh, class AB amplifiers were about 60% uh, efficient which is quite a bit more than the class A uh, and also class AB amps uh, really are still in use today not as much but uh, they're still around all right so then uh, the next class up uh, that's used quite a bit in pro audio is class H and uh, these uh, actually provide a lot more output than the class AB at uh, almost half the weight of a class AB amplifier. In class H uh, they use a different type of power supply in them uh, which is why the class H, H amps are usually a lot they usually weigh a lot less than class AB. Okay, and here's the uh, amplifier rack that um, Stage Left Audio used for quite a few years. And these uh, class H amps were used to replace the class AB amps. And the, uh, in that picture, the amp rack, the bottom four amps are all the PLX 3602s. Uh, once again, everything is class H. These amps weighed about 22 pounds each, uh, but these amps were 70% efficient, somewhere around 70%. So basically, I'd moved to the class H amps so I could get, if you will, twice the power at half the weight of the class AB. And class H amps are still widely used. And for the uh, older powered speakers uh, from many years ago, Class H amps were mostly used in the powered speakers. And so here it is, this is early 2023, and uh, Class D amplifiers are heavily in use in the industry. All of our powered speakers contain Class D amplifiers and all of our standalone amplifiers are all Class D. Uh, Class D is very lightweight, almost extremely lightweight for the amount of power they can produce. So here's a picture of our crowns, uh, the Powertech 9000s, and our QSE PLD 4.2s, these are all Class D. 
Class D amplifiers are about 90% efficient. Uh, I've seen some readings where they could be a little bit more than 90%, but uh, really that is rather phenomenal. Class D amps can produce a lot of power with very minimal amounts of energy. So over the years, stage left audio had started with class AB amplifiers. And over a period of time, we moved to class H to get more power, less weight, and now we've moved all to class D. Okay, these are all class AB amps. The uh, crowns that you see, the power techs, those weigh about 45 pounds a piece. Uh, the CA9s weigh about uh, 52 pounds. And those CA9s are the uh, original Crest amps. They're not the uh, newer CA9s. And each of these amps put out, uh, I want to say it was about 1,500 watts at 8 ohms bridged. Uh, except for the CA9s, I think they put out maybe 100 watts more, but what's 100 watts when you're talking 1,500? So I'm just going to say they all put out 1,500 watts a piece. So... And looking at this, that gives me uh, about 6,000 watts between all the amps, but at almost 200 pounds in weight. All right, so if we compare uh, that 6,000 watts at 200 pounds, look at the, our uh, Macrotech amps. We have 7,000 watts per amp. So that's 14,000 watts at 60 pounds. 14,000 watts at 60 pounds. Hey, that's hard to beat. So the uh, older monitor amps that we had for a while uh, were the PBCS 1000s. Uh, these were monsters. Uh, these amps were actually really decent. Uh, these were class AB and as I said we used them mostly for monitors and the CS 1000s are 1000 watts bridged mono at 8 ohms. So that was a thousand watts at 53 pounds a piece. Now compare that thousand watts at 53 pounds to one of our QSC PLDs that does 1600 watts at 18 pounds. I'll tell you the Class D amplification is really hard to beat. Uh, Class H was great. I said it was half the weight of the Class AB, but um, the Class D is really, has really changed things. And I uh, said here it is, the early part of 2023, and it would be interesting to see uh, what the industry comes out with next on uh, producing power. Uh, you know, can it, get, can it get any better? Can the amplifiers get any lighter? I don't know. We'll see. All right. said so just a follow-up video, and uh, thanks for watching.